does he not play Sonic at all in this game? Uh, I've I'm not seen him play Sonic since like, like the last six months of Smash 4. Like towards the end of Smash 4, even I think he was playing Mewtwo a good bit. Uh, I think he was playing actually a lot of Sonic because he was getting some really? good. He was getting some good okay. wins. Was the thing. I think he beat Highway Man um, one week. Uh, he beat. Oh god, who else did he beat? He I, was I, making like top eight like in a couple of the freaks that we had. So he was he was doing well. I, I played um I played his Sonic at end of the line and it's probably one of my favorite sets of all time. Oh no, they had different teams. They they're gonna have to Yeah. Oh, okay, good. Uh, they realized it. Yeah, but um Everybody versus uh I, I played his Sonic at um end of the line and it was one of my favorite sets. Um in, in Smash Four just about. Really? And, he picked up Mewtwo, and that's where the fun ended for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mewtwo is very good. Like, I, I'm surprised oh, we yeah. don't see many Mewtwo players in Ultimate. Let's see, Mewtwo's one of those characters that he's good, but he's different. That's, like, yeah. His disjoints I, I, I aren't that. quite there. He, his game plan's a little bit different now yeah. from what I see. No. <laughs> no, I I am not that young where my driver's license is uh, vertical like that. I am a horizontal boy now. I'm a man. <laughs> yeah, I, I actually got mine renewed and then got a new picture like a couple years ago. But here we go. We have the right teams this time on Pokemon right. Stadium. Let's try this again. Okay, so yeah, we'll probably see a lot more synergy just in general between these two because... Um, Q2 is still a very smart player. I don't know, again, how his, his double play is, his doubles play specifically. Um, but, uh, I mean, again, he's smart, so I think he'll be able to figure it out and work with Kappas pretty well. If not, Kappas knows how to cover his partner or cover her, part her partner. Alrighty. Yeah, just kind of throwing out some smash attacks here. Kind of just the scramble, which is doubles. Oh, oh yeah, the sweet spot. Do not challenge me. Get off this. Yeah, get if, back on if that I stage. If I ever think someone is going to run off stage and try to hit me, I I am side being right to that spot. Oh, yeah. It's like one of those weird angles that you kind of like. You know that Wolf can do it, but like sometimes you just forget it and don't expect it. Yeah. Oh, oh no, poor Q2. That may have been that weird ledge kind of coming into play for Pokemon yeah. Stadium. Well, no, I, okay, I, I, I call it weird. I hear that's the original Pokemon Stadium that is a weird one. I didn't know PS2 had problems. Well, well, PS2 is because it, it, it's like kind of like curved a bit, like it is for um, uh, like Battlefield for Smashville, like that kind of curve. But then yeah. it also like goes flat for a bit, uh -huh. um, like completely like horizontal flat, and then it like goes down. So like. It's a, it's possible to like kind of head bonk on it. I, I know what you, you really mean. Can't, yeah, you really can't like see it either because of how the stage is. I I prefer the original Pokemon Stadium to PS2 just for that reason. Like Prince once took me off stage as Villager, he neared me at that tease part. I immediately disappeared. I had no reaction time, no tech time. It was just oh. like the moment he pressed the button, I was dead. Yeah, my only problem with that is like you just can't see it really. Like you can't yeah. really see how the stage is curved. That now if, if it was like. I don't know if the graphics are a little bit better on it, and like there wasn't so much happening at those sides. Like, I, I'd, I'd be more forgiving. But it's still like a good stage, regardless. Like oh, the yeah, platform layout, like everybody, stage. everybody loves that dual plat. Which Ooh. you know, okay. I, Highwayman and Doorman really loving this dual plat. They are yeah. up by a considerable bit. Oh, Highwayman should have been ready for that, but he wasn't quite in the right spot. Okay. Oh, we'll try to catch him with that up smash. An, an, an interesting exchange. Okay, that'll end it for sure. Yep, so that's... Yeah, that is a... I was too busy talking about the stage <laughs> and not really paying attention to the play. I'm, I apologize, guys. But yeah, that was a... It was a very commanding game for Highwayman and Doorman. I feel like they've been on a roll recently. Like they, They've probably been building up momentum as a team. Oh yeah, I I agree. And like, I they, know they've they were... always been a threat, but it, it feels like they're even more prevalent now. Yeah, and I think part of that is because of some of that stuff carrying over from Smash Four, because mm. they're one of the few static te static teams you really kind of have um, yeah, in true. DFW. Um, I mean, we had some others like we have uh, Joey and Aegis. They're static. In Cold and Aerod, they're static. Now Seti and Jet Turtle, they're pretty static. Uh, I mean, you can kind of count Kappas and McBee, I suppose, to a certain eh, extent. Kind of. It, it, it's, it's a little bit rough. 
a little bit of a gray area there. Yeah, and at least that's as far as the Denton team goes. Like, I know there are other um, more static doubles teams out in, like, Plano and Arlington and things like that. But I primarily follow the Ditton scene, so wait, I can wait, speak on have a static Ditton. Do you know if Nano and C2 are static when he's around? Uh, uh no. Okay. No, they, I, don't, I don't think they were. Any, any, any team that's got Nano on it, uh, he kind of floats from okay. player to player. So it's, he's done really have a static team. Him and Kappas were static for a while in Smash 4, but and he started teaming with, like, Oryx and... Some other people, uh, uh, okay. just in general. So, but yeah, Unova is our pick here. Yeah, yeah interesting. I'm I'm kind of surprised Q2 allowed them to take him here, but he did go with the Sonic. So, this yeah, this is the first time I've seen him play Sonic in a good while. <laughs> yeah, that may have been the plan to begin with because that was. I mean, this was Green Team's counter pick, so Q2 knew full well. Full well. So, all right, I'm probably gonna not play the U2. Yep. Just stick with the Sonic. And I, I feel like it's working out for them so far. Yeah, we'll now, be even. Q2 did kind of get handled a little bit the last game. I feel like he might could have given the Mewtwo, to, um, the Mewtwo a second chance. But it is best of three here, I'm pretty sure. Yes, we are still best of three. We're going to be best of three, I think, for all the doubles. Really? Yeah, wow. I think we've done okay. best of three for a while now. Um, we used to do best of five, and then we got big. And so we're yeah. trying, to <laughs> try, trying to scoot it all along as fast as we can. But yeah, I, you know them. I think is. I I hope we keep the stage. I hope it stays as a I hope so too. as a, a counter pick. And I don't. And it seems like a lot of the other rule sets that we have like around, um, specifically the Genesis one, like they don't group stages together like we do. Like Unova is grouped with Pokemon Stadium, yeah, uh, and Yoshi's story is grouped with Battlefield. Oh, Battlefield. Yeah, yeah. Yoshi's story is. Are the, the single plants still grouped, like uh, Smashville and Yoshi's they, Island? They they were grouped. I don't think they okay. are anymore. Okay. And I I think those should not be grouped personally. Man, now I'm gonna have to waste both my bands on single plants. <laughs> yeah, I I really want New Nova to stick around because I I prefer the PS2 personally. It's a great looking stage, and I know like teleport recoveries kind of like take a hit. I I a try I try to make a policy not to take teleports to to this stage. Like I guess I guess it's kind of a silly thing because I would take people to Lilat in four and let them get janked out all day, but I don't want to intentionally try to like cheese people in this game that way. <laughs> yeah, it's really like three characters that are affected. It's like Mewtwo, Palutena, and Zelda. And Other, Sheik, maybe? May, uh, maybe. Sheik is also, like, she has so much drift that she can, like, get yeah. around that. Okay. Pretty even game right now. Yeah. Green team seeming to have adapted quite a bit. Oh, the ja jab block. Oh, no. Uh, Q2 is like, I'm going to come in and try to get a punish, but interrupted what Capus was trying to do there. Wait, what? That up B just killed Doorman flat out. Oh, my God. So much is happening right now. And now we are down to fairly even game. Oh, going for a spike, getting the soft it. hit, I think, but not quite working out. I, I really feel like Q2 and Capus actually kind of have a game plan right now, which is interesting for them not being the usual teammates. Yeah, it's like they're they're kind of covering each other pretty well just in general. Well, yeah. they were. Now we're down to just Q2. And this is going to be rough for Q2, especially with Sonic's place out. Now, he is fast, so he can camp a little. Yeah, and uh, he's fast, and like I think it's going to be less camping and more like trying to get some straight hits to tack on these percents. Yeah. Because um, like his spin dash has gotten nerfed a decent bit. Like I don't think he can shield out of it anymore. Um, oh, Ooh, the no. flat out read. Yeah, Dorman was like, "All right, I want, I want to up smash so bad right now." Because that's one thing that he's really enjoyed with Bowser is having that shell invincibility. Tough guy. Yeah. Well, said. it's not even like tough guy. It's like for his up smash, like there's just shell invincibility on it. So if anybody's like above him, like in that situation, um, if Q2 approaches at all in the air, he can just kind of go for it, and Highwayman will be there to cover him. So yeah, you know, good stuff to them, Highwayman and Doorman showing their. Uh, there's synergy off there, 